YouTube, it's Chris. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing good. Long overdue video. I have an updated Windows optimization video for you guys. Now this is a one click solution to installing a fresh Windows and getting all optimizations done in one click. It's called the Turbo Windows Optimization Pack. All right, it's gonna work with Windows 11. It's gonna work with Windows 10. It's absolutely flawless. I still recommend Windows 10, believe it or not. Windows 11 is still a buggy beta mess. All right, Microsoft need to get their act together with that, please. If you want to follow along this video, you're not sure, please select Windows 10. Now, what I want you guys to do is to get started with this video, go to the Mega NZ file, okay? There's a link in the description for the Mega NZ drive. Go ahead and download a Windows optimization, Mind Turbo Windows optimization, that's what we're after, Turbo Windows optimization. Now, you can do this optimization pack without doing a fresh install, okay? By transferring the files over to the C drive, but we're not going to be doing that in this video. This is exclusively, I want you to do a fresh install. So if you wanna do it correctly and properly, you're better following on with a clean, fresh install. That's what we're gonna be doing in this video. Now we're also going to need to download that file. Like I said before, we're going to need a USB stick for this video. Some of you guys have followed my old videos and know how to do it without a USB stick. I'm not gonna cover that here. I'm gonna keep the video simple and short and sweet as possible because it's installing Windows in one click. The Turbo Windows Optimization. Okay, you've downloaded that. Go ahead and go and extract the files. Once you've extracted the files, okay, I want you to go ahead, if you've got an AMD card, download the latest AMD driver. If you've got an NVIDIA card, download the latest NVIDIA driver for your card, okay? And once you've done that, if you don't have a Windows 10 Pro key already activated on your motherboard, here's a website you can go to. I'm actually partnered with these guys and with these guys for a while. They're a really nice, legit, web, a legitimate website. You can get a really nice fat discount code with these guys with code FREETHY. So it's actually written here, code FREETHY. Okay, go ahead and do that. After that, we wanna go ahead, we wanna update BIOS and grab the LAN driver just in case there isn't a built-in LAN driver in Windows when we install it for your motherboard so we have internet. Press Windows key R. I want you to type MS Info 32. MS Info 32. Press enter. Look for baseball product. There'll be a motherboard here. If it's not here, you're going to have to go into BIOS and find out what it is or by other means. But most of you, it should be here unless you're on a really outdated Windows and you're on a new motherboard. So you can actually press Control C for copy and Control V in Google. Now, if you can't, just type in it in. It'd be fairly easy. Go to the motherboard manufacturer web page. Go ahead and get the latest BIOS update. Go ahead and get the latest LAN driver. So to get you out of trouble, okay? Once you've gone ahead and done that, all right, I've already pre-downloaded this stuff. So just to show you guys, the AMG driver, I want you guys to rename to AMD in caps. All right, the NVIDIA driver, I want you guys to rename to NVIDIA in caps, okay? And then the BIOS file, I'll extract it because we actually only need this file. Okay, and I'll delete that and clean that up. The LAN driver looks like I'm lucky. It's just an X installation file. I actually don't need a folder. So I'll have that there ready to go. Okay, I'll get rid of that so you guys aren't confused. Now, what we actually need to do is open the ISO file. We need to open the sources folder, OEM. Keep going all the way through until you get up to this Freethy folder. And then just copy and paste these into here. Now, if you don't have AMD or if you don't have NVIDIA, don't worry, Just you just need one of them. You don't have to download both of them. I'm just showing you, for, you know, both people in this video, whether you have AMD or NVIDIA. So like I said, just leave that out. If you don't have an NVIDIA card, leave that out. And if you don't have a AMD card, leave that out. That's fine. It's ready to go. Now let's go back to ISO, okay? We wanna put these two files in the ISO folder. This is gonna make our life a lot easier. Once we've done that, it's time to go and head and Decide if do you guys want Windows 10 or do you guys want Windows 11? Okay, so I still highly recommend 10. 11 is very, very buggy. So let's go to Windows 10 here. But the method, and the, oh, I've tested this so many times, it's going to work flawlessly on 10 and 11, um, both OSs perfectly. Okay, let's go ahead and download the media installation tool. Go ahead and get that. Now let's open up the media creation tool. All right, once we've opened that up, Plug in your USB stick. It's going to need to be at least a 16 gig USB stick or plus. If you have an external hard drive, you could actually use that as well. Pretty straightforward, but at least a 16 gig stick we're going to need. Easy enough, just press accept. And make sure we click the last one, create installation media. So we'll go ahead and hit next here. Um, it should just select what your current OS is now. So it should be pretty straightforward. If it's not, you can unselect this and change. Okay, if you really want to, all right. It's going to hit next. I'm going to use USB flash drive because that's what we have here. 
hit next, okay? And then this is my uh, removal drive. It's in D drive. I've called it USB to make your life a bit easier. Let's go ahead and press next. And then it's going to create the installation media for you guys. All right, once your installation media tool is done and it's created the USB, now if you have a slow USB, it would have taken quite some time. If you had a 2.0, it could take a long time. But once that's done, okay, got a file explorer, right? Okay, and your Windows USB will be called something different here, okay? I just did mine quicker, it's called Windows install. I want you to go to your C drive, which is what we're going to be wiping. If there's any files that are in any of these subfolders or any files or configs that are in C drive, I want you to back them up on your other drives or an external drive or even on this USB, okay? Because we're going to be wiping this drive entirely. Now, to make sure we don't screw up, when we wipe this drive and we don't wipe other drives, right click this, Go ahead and click rename and just call it delete me, okay? So that way we know this part, this drive and all the partitions tied to it are going to be on the delete me partitions. So you'll see what I mean very shortly, okay? Once you've done that, open up your Windows USB. It'd be called something different, like I said. All we need to do now is grab what's in this ISO folder and copy it or just drag it straight into here to where the USB is. That's all you need to do. Once that's done, it's time to go into BIOS. Now, most motherboards, you restart the PC, spam the delete button, DEL button, or spam F2. Let's go to BIOS now. Once you're in BIOS, it is time to update your, mother update your motherboard BIOS. Now, every motherboard is a little bit different, whether it be Asus, ASRock, or you know Gigabyte and stuff like that. So if you're kind of lost a little bit here, look for something that says QFlash or MFlash or Asus Update Tool, okay? And if you're not sure, just do a bit of a Google. You should be able to find it fairly easily. On the MSI board, it's quite easily. Quite easy, you go to MFlash, okay? And it'll take you to a flash mode. Okay, we're in the flash mode. So um, some BIOSes look a little different and weird. We need to find the USB, okay? So if you see a bunch of partitions here, just try to find the USB with the BIOS file on it. This is the one with the BIOS file on it. So you would go ahead and click and then update the BIOS. Don't turn the power off. Make sure power doesn't get turned off or BIOS is updating, okay? And just let it fully update and then go back into BIOS. Now, if it doesn't read the file properly, more than likely you've got the wrong BIOS file. Maybe you've got a slightly different version of a board, like a Wi-Fi version or something like that. So you have to go back into Windows and get the right file. So if you've updated to come back into BIOS, I want you guys to look for something that says XMP, XMP or DOCP, DOCP or Expo, EXPO. It's really important that you turn this on, okay? RAM optimizations are a big part of optimizations. You want to make sure that's turned on. So if you're not sure, might be in the overclocking page or the memory page. Every motherboard's a little bit different. Do a bit of a Google if you can't find it. On uh, Gigabyte, board, sorry, on MSI boards, it's pretty straightforward. You can go into the OC tab, go ahead and turn AXMP to profile one. Now, just to let you guys know, if you have an ASUS board and you have an uh, XMP2 or Expo2 or DOCP2, don't go with the two version because it's technically an overclock, okay? And it will change some of the sub times and it might not quite be stable. You end up with a lot of headache. So just turn XMP either on or put it to profile one. So XMP, DOCP or Expo, profile one or enabled. Away you go. On these boards, you can also just click on AXMP profile one here. So make sure that's turned on. Once that's turned on, I want you guys to go to your boot options. Like I said, every board's a little bit different. So do a bit of a Google or get the manual out if you really need to. We want to change the boot option one to your actual USB. Okay. So we can boot to the Windows install file. So go ahead and do that. Then I want you guys to go ahead, save changes and reboot or every board's name is this a little bit differently save changes and exit save changes and reboot or you can press f10 and enter so go ahead and do that now okay we're booting to the usb now now see here is where i'd ask you to unplug your ethernet cable okay because it makes the setup a little bit easier then you're not fighting with windows updates when windows update tries to install a generic graphics card driver you can install your own please unplug the ethernet cable if you're on wi-fi you don't have to worry about this step but unplug your ethernet cable if you have one plugged in go ahead and hit next pretty straightforward okay now here is you look if you have other drives that that aren't named or are named whatever that's fine okay i have a few other drives here don't be don't be scared here don't be scared in this screen what you gotta understand is um different drives have a bunch of petitions that's okay right all you've got to look for all right is the one we named to delete me, okay? And we need to delete all the partitions that are related to delete me. So delete me is on drive two, okay? So we need to delete everything that is drive two, but nothing else. So go ahead and delete everything that is the same drive with the name 
that says delete me. Okay. So for me, it is drive two. For you, it would be something a little bit differently. Okay. A little bit different, should I say? Okay. Now that it's done, I've completely wiped drive two. Completely wiped drive two. Select that drive and hit next. Now, once you've done this step and it restarts, if it takes you back to this screen, you need to change the boot order. So if that's the case, go back to BIOS, change the boot order to Windows Boot Manager. Now on Asus boards and Gigabyte boards and ASRock boards, you generally don't have to. It'll just automatically boot to the Windows Boot Manager, but MSI boards are notorious for just locking in whatever you've set. So if it's an MSI board, after this stage, when it restarts, you're gonna to have to go back to BIOS and set boot option one to Windows Boot Manager. Now very shortly we should see a desktop and I'll show you what guys where to go when you see a desktop. So now you guys should see a desktop and your ethernet cable should be unplugged and you won't be connected to Wi-Fi or anything. Just leave that at this stage. I want you to go to the yellow folder on the taskbar file explorer, go to this PC, go to C drive, go to windows. And I want you to look for setup folder. In setup folder, I want you to go to scripts and then here we are, open post install. All right, so let's go ahead and open post install. Just come up with the script here. And it's pretty easy to follow. So press any key to continue. I'm going to press space here. And it's going to go ahead and install all the files that we need. Ready to go. C++ packages, DirectX, Google Chrome, because most of you shouldn't be using Edge. All right. Now you can change that later if you have a preference. Now while we're waiting for this thing to do its thing. All right. This optimization pack absolutely does everything. Okay. Everything Windows related. Now, if you're looking for more frames, more optimizations i do offer offer a service over in 20 if you guys are interested for overclocking and all things like that looking over your hardware recommendations and i actually offer do, doing this service for you guys above and beyond and a lot more than what i show here so if you guys are interested go check out my twitter links in the description but for you guys that like to do stuff yourself after doing this this takes care of everything windows related so if you want more after this the only extra step you can do really Upgrading RAM, look at RAM tuning. Upgrading CPU, look at CPU tuning. Upgrading graphics card, looking at graphics card tuning. And tweaking your game, game config and game settings. That is all you can do extra to gain more frames and lower latency other than upgrading monitor, getting lower latency, upgrading keyboard, getting lower latency, and upgrading um, you know, your mouse and getting lower latency. Like that. That's all you can do, really. Everything is taken care of. Um, for you here. So we just have to wait for the next prompt. This will take quite some time, maybe a minute or so, depending on your system. We're ready to go. It'll come up with installing AMD driver. Now, if you don't have the file there and you're not on AMD, you'll say files are not found. Don't worry about that. I'm going to press space to continue. Okay. And if you did, but you don't have it installed, I'm going to close out of that because I have an NVIDIA card on this system. Now we go ahead and install the NVIDIA driver. Pretty straightforward. Just go ahead and install that. Okay, driver install is installed, so we can click back to the command prompt window, so click on it, all right, and then press space or enter or any key, right? Now we just have to wait. Now this will take anywhere between 80 seconds or above. What it's doing here is it's installing a good power plan, installing timer resolution service, which is going to be called STR if you check in task manager, okay? It is removing all the bloat that comes with Windows, okay? But nothing will break as far as the store or any apps you wanna download and use. So that's still functional. It just won't run in the background. Every, all control panel settings, all immersive control panel settings removes the live tiles and just cleans up Windows generally. Probably a couple other things I can't think of at the top of my head, but it takes care of everything for you. So we just have to wait for the next prompt right now. There's a bunch of other stuff in the background now that I'm remembering it while we wait for the script to load. Um, you know, edge auto updating, um, you know, store auto updating, maps auto updating, all, all, all little annoying things like that. Um, if you do open up Spotify and Discord, hardware acceleration should already be disabled for you too, which is nice. I was able to do that with a config. But anything you can think of, right? So, I mean, obviously, if you install your game launchers, you might want to turn game overlay off or hardware acceleration in that. Um, but actually, Chrome hardware acceleration, background auto updating tasks is disabled too. So, really, guys, all you have to worry about here is... Um, just if you do want to keep it simple, just worry about setting up your games correctly, your game settings and your game configs. But if you want more out of the system, like I said, the only really next step is CPU, memory, graphics card, upgrade or overclock. That is it. Okay. So that should almost be done here. It's just got rid of the annoying live tiles and all the candy crush and stuff like that. Here we go. MSI mode. Now don't be, you know, disheartened by this or, or stressed out or whatever. A lot of your 
a lot of you guys out there, your graphics card will already be in MSI mode, but if it's not, you want to put it in MSI mode. So just press any key to continue. It's going to open up the MSI mode utility. Don't put anything else in MSI mode. Just look for your graphics card. This is my graphics card. Yours might be named completely differently, more than likely. Okay, it's in 54 right now. A minus number is MSI mode. We want it in MSI mode. Don't put anything else in MSI mode, okay? Find your graphics card and check the box next to it. If the box is already checked, skip this step and exit out of it. But if the box isn't ticked, tick it, press apply and exit out of it. That won't apply until you restart. Okay. Now press any, if you restart and check it again, it'll be in minus. So um, press any key to continue. That'll open the AMD graphics control panel settings. There's not too much you can actually do in there. So, you know, have a bit of a look around there, change some things to performance. Really NVIDIA is where it's at. Now, this does all your NVIDIA optimizations, guys like all of them, the 3D managed settings and does the resize bar force trick for all um all apps so you can get a nice little gain there, okay? So just go ahead and do that and that will take care of it. All right, so that's what the script did before. Now, this is opening because probably what you guys will wanna do is you're gonna wanna change your resolution and refresh rate because everyone has a different monitor, right? So go ahead and do that, you know, like this is a three, I mean, this is my capture card right now, but usually I would set it to, you know, you know, whatever your highest refresh rate is, stuff like that. So everything else should be really taken care of. If you have multiple displays, you might want to set that up. But all your managed 3D settings should be done for you. All right? Now, if you use G-Sync, you might need to toggle it back on because this script will disable that. But everything will be taken care of. All right, anyway, next one, optimize sound settings. Pretty straightforward. You want to set everything to default and disable what you're not using. I'm not going to bother doing that here. Clean up and system restore point. So it's doing a nice little disk clean up here. Once that's done, just press OK. Go ahead, scroll down, and let's create a restore point. So just call that backup or whatever. All right, hit create. Pretty straightforward. Just do a system restore point just in case. And then press space to restart the PC. And that is everything taken care of as far as Windows optimization. Literally one click, um, one script, one click. Now after that, you're gonna to wanna to go to your USB stick and probably install your internet driver and plug in your um, ethernet cable or for your own Wi-Fi connector Wi-Fi, but everything will be taken care of for you guys. You'll see in all the control panel settings, immersive control panel settings, stuff like that. Just worry about installing your game launcher in your game. That's all you need to worry about now. That is it for the video. Like I said, guys, if you want my optimization service for overclocking, doing this for you or any extra things like setting up a, a stream PC or streaming settings, dual PC, set up anything you want PC related. Check me out on Twitter. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and don't forget BNH um, software, okay? BNH software, code free for you. You'll get a nice little discount because you guys will probably have to go ahead when you're plugging your ethernet cable. Just go ahead and do all your updates, right? Go ahead and do all your updates when you plug in the ethernet cable and then spam pause the updates. You might want to go ahead and activate your windows um, with the windows key. Um, discount code for you. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys. See you in the next one. I'll do another video explaining all the scripts and everything like that completely separate to this one. I feel like it'd be best if I just kept it separate. So take care guys. See you later.